Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to Vampire Survivors. A couple of options I want to look at today. I think I want to turn the flashing VFX on. Let me know if this bothers you guys or not. I have it off when I play on my Xbox, and I had it off here too. But maybe it'll add some context to like which enemies are actually taking hits and stuff like that. Let's go with Poe today. He is going to begin with Garlic and has a plus 25% pickup range, but a negative 30 maximum health so more so than ever we're not going to want to get hit i am going to try out gallo tower today an edifice of science and sorcery where horror was made manifest in the name of progress its many artifacts and experiments may lead us to what we seek okay looking at the map uh, i think we want to head south first and then maybe we try to double back all the way to the north i want everything here right uh but am i going to be able to get it who knows that's as high up as my sounds get, huh? Let me adjust some stuff over here in OBS to make this a little bit louder for you guys. Okay. And now we need to go back into full screen mode, which the game loves to pop in and out of full screen. I've had trouble with that, but I think we got it. Let's go fire wand here. These guys seem pretty poppable, just standing near them. Uh, what do we want to grab here, really? Let's grab Whip. Doing these kinds of strafing motions, I, I feel like Whip is going to be useful to us. I do want to kind of work to the south as we do this. If we leave a little bit of XP on the ground, that's going to be okay, because we're going to head back north anyway. And we'll be able to get it then. That being said, we'll try to grab some as we go. I don't really like any of these. Maybe we pop his maximum health back up. Let's, or we take axes. <laughs> Let's take axes. Axes are my least favorite weapon, but we'll take it just to get some more damage going early. Now, if you can evolve axes into scythes, scythes are actually really, really powerful as an, as an AoE ability out from near you. Uh, projectiles increased. It really wants me to take this. I'm going to take luck. Yeah, I think I'd just rather go into luck then. Okay, so we're making progress. The map seems pretty large. I don't really know if there's going to be any areas off to the sides to explore. It doesn't seem like there's much. Alright, we've got some red floating skeletons now that seem to be a little bit beefier than their green counterparts. Oh boy. Weapon cooldowns. We gotta take the Evo with uh, Garlic here. And we might need that uh, additional regen anyway, before it's all said and done. I'd like to get another ability, but I do need to go garlic level 2 here. We don't want to get hit by those explosions, they deal a massive amount of damage. So there's that. This seems like a little bit of an XP farm that we're getting right here though, so... Maybe we do this for a minute. Yeah, this is definitely an XP farm at the moment. And we're gonna work with this till it's cleared. Alright, let's do spinach. That's going to have an evolution with the fire wand eventually. I 
I do want to keep moving. I, I really do. I wish we can get some Attract Orb. If we got some Attract Orb going, that would be amazing. Oh, uh, let's do Whip, level 2. That way we've got it going in both directions. Okay, we've got red skellies and an angry insectoid looking thing with multiple arms. These guys are not quite poppable, but I feel like we do have to kind of kill them. Although we could probably go about doing it a little more intelligently. I kind of like the flashing as an indicator of who's being hit. Did not really want to spring that trap. Maybe we won't have to deal with it. Let's get a move on a little bit here. I know I'm leaning heavy into garlic and nothing else. This is going to come back to bite us. I need to get some other attacks leveling up. Alright, we've got green creatures, like goblins perhaps. Okay, they all vanished. I, sh I probably should have been farming those for experience or something. Let's go Fire Wands. Spinach, okay, and 155 gold. Do I want wings? Maybe. I really want King Bibles though. Crosses? Crosses could be good eventually, and I think that's going to be it for weapons. This also seems kind of farmable, so that's what I'm doing right now. We're getting close. We need to get axes leveling up so it can actually be helpful. We'll get some of that when we come back to the north here. Let's move on a little bit. Alright, this could be useful. Fire one. Alright, these guys are holding their heads and wielding swords. So main hand, off hand type of situation, I guess. Uh, we gotta get through the never ending wave of onyxes here. That worked. Just run through them, I guess. Pop a floor chicken and run through them. It says there's a time stopper up here that I missed. We definitely have to go back and find that, right? Can we kill some of these guys, maybe? Because they, they seem to be obstructing quite a bit of my ability to see into this area. I don't know if we're even hitting them most of the time. We have to be taking some of them out slowly but surely, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, I, just, I can't clear the onyxes. It's weird. Maybe we are not getting this time capsule thing. Uh, we have demon enemies with pitchforks now that are quite powerful. Okay, the onyxes are gone. That's great. Oh no, the onyxes are not gone. They're just way up here. Where is this thing? We're like right on top of it, it says. The only place they take damage is their heads. Yeah, this is kind of nuts. I mean, we don't have to get it, right? I, c I can move on. I'm going to move on. I'm not going to get stuck on this. Nope, we've got bigger fish to fry. We've got other objectives to get to. We don't need to get stuck on the timer. We'll get it when we come back to the north to get those objectives up there. Let's go crosses, it's really weak right now, we need to get it going. Alright, we maybe don't want to get pinned between the two waves here, let's circle around like this. Oh, we've got magic wielders here, kind of shooting balls of fire at us. They have quite a bit of health also. We really needed to get some more, more attacks leveled up here than garlic, and the garlic is all we keep getting. Let's go duplicators then, maybe that'll help us out here. Yeah, we're kind of in a rough spot right now. Really wouldn't mind that floor chicken, but it's pretty far away. Alright, we've kind of reached the peninsula of enemies here. Let's kind of clear up maybe a bit to give ourselves some leeway. We've got green goblins flying in and some harpies now. The harpy might be a boss. I'll take spinach, that'll give everything a little boost. Which I feel like is what we need right now. And we gotta get some of this experience we left behind. So we need another level like right away. Okay, nice. It's a three-way test. We needed this. Okay, whip, whip, and heart. Nice. That's a nice three-way chest. Okay, let's do... Uh, let's do King Bibles. Basically, it's just a big XP farm at the moment. We do need to take advantage of this. Okay, maybe not so much anymore. We've got uh, shrimp dragons. Shrimp dragons are not good. They have uh, quite a bit of health. Harpies everywhere. Harpies also have quite a bit of health. We're in a little bit of a bind here. Let's find a way through it. There we go. That's the way. Okay, we need garlic. Alright, these guys are almost on farm. We get a little bit more of a boost to anything. And they'll be on farm. We just have to live long enough to keep leveling up.
Yeah, we're taking too much incidental damage here. And we're just not clearing them quickly enough. Alright, we, we kind of have to move here. We're close to the item. I, I just don't know if I messed us up by not farming a bit more. It feels like maybe I did. I don't even know what to do here, to be honest. We go Fire Wand, I suppose, just for some more damage going in some random direction. Alright, we came here. Let's get it. Spellbinder. Not worth it. Okay. Ah, uh, geez. We can keep going south, but... I guess that's what we do, right? I don't know if we're going to get back to the stuff up north or not. But maybe... Oh, no! No, no, no! Oh, let's live! Yeah, we just need to focus on living. Be a floor chicken, thank you. Oh god, thank the floor chickens. Alright, we were able to force a way through here, which we needed to be able to do. Oh boy, we gotta go, King Bibles. We need to have more AoE spinning around us to get us out of this situation. More AoE, more often, please. Okay, uh, King Bibles then, yep. Uh, what do we want here? We gotta go, what, duplicators? Yep. Gotta go duplicators. More projectiles, please. It's really all we can do to help us right now. Alright, what do we have here? We evolved something. We evolved... Oh, we evolved garlic into soul eater. This is gonna be great. We're gonna get some passive healing. Very nice. Very nice. Axes, please. Is way behind everything else. Okay, uh, yeah, let's let's head south-ish as we do this, but right now I just kind of want to farm, honestly. I feel the need to farm. Okay, we should get out of that stuff. We do have uh, ladies blasting us with slow beams, which could definitely get us into trouble here. If we get slowed in the wrong spot, we could just get blown up. It's you back here slowing us, isn't it? I'll take it.
Oh boy. Lots of casters out now. Not really a lot around for that. Uh, definitely not worth it. Uh, I think we're going south for this item though. Now that we're not really in a farming phase. And we're kind of powerful enough as long as we don't get hit by onyxes. I like how these casters tend to back off. They're trying to keep a range on us, which is obviously smart for what they do. Alright, we've got upgraded dragon shrimps. And let me tell you this. Upgraded dragon shrimps are tough, man. Like, these suckers are not dying. And it's not like we have a lot of XP to circle back to. So, there's that. I'm just kind of trying to like survive this phase and just not pull too many of these guys into any one spot and not get like cornered like we're kind of almost getting cornered now because yeah these guys have a lot of health or armor and they're just not going down with what we got but eventually the phase will come to an end I'm hoping The tricky part about them is their ability to flank you from like a bunch of different directions. Alright, we've got some winged skellies coming in now. They're a little bit more poppable, but not very much. Got floor chicken here that we need. We got a giant guy with a shield and armor. Uh, looks like a certifiable badass. Not really sure what to do with him except keep kiting all these guys. Got more floor chicken up here. So I feel like we're definitely just going to take. Alright, we're back to a farming phase. Okay. Red skellies are poppable. Let's pop a ton of them. I'd like to kill these two guys, but they just seem to have an incredible amount of HP and we, we can't eat through it. I don't want to slow too much from farming, we need to get another level here. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, uh, axes then. Oh, he dropped his chest. Just spinach. It's disappointing. We're popping the regular dragon shrimps a little bit more easily now. We do have a boss dragon shrimp kind of following us around though. What we're really, really missing from this build and from this map that could have helped us out a lot is Santa Water. Santa Water, man, could have, could have been really, really helpful here. Uh, the way we're trying to move through the map. Okay, I'll take it, because I probably would never have put points into that myself. Why do I feel like this guy has, like, infinite health?
There we go. And he dropped a chest, which I didn't expect him to do. I, I just wanted to get rid of him because he kept slowing us. We were close to getting this upgrade at some point. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get it now. Oh. This is not great. We need to keep uh, kind of forcing our way through this when we can. Oh, that was bad. All kinds of bad. Alright, yeah, we need out. And ability cooldowns. We are not getting out. Oh, gosh. We need floor chicken. Oh, God. We have made a terrible mistake. Yeah, this might be where we, uh, where we bite it here, if we can't get away from these guys. Oh boy. Oh man. It's getting iffy. And now we can't really afford to, like, stop moving. Because we have all this AoE stuff kind of coming down on us. Oh yeah, uh, that's like absolutely essential. Oh, of course we die as soon as we get like super powered up, we die. Ah, uh, I'm not really happy with how that ended. I feel like we could have done a lot better. I feel like getting garlic, getting Santa water would have helped. Uh, the whip probably didn't do a lot for us. I don't know that fire wand did a lot for us. Probably wouldn't pair that up again the same exact way. Uh, yeah, okay, let's take a look here. Uh, power-ups, we have a little bit of money to spend. Should we just go, we can't, we can't even afford the fire one more projectile. Revive would be good, we should probably save up for revive. Having base magnet maxed out could be good. Uh, let's go into some armor, it's one thing that we, we just haven't gone into it at all. And yeah, I think that'll be it for today. I'm trying to stick to like one run a day, unless we get like a really, really short run. Then I'd probably go again. But yeah, that was a decent one. Um, maybe we need to go back. I mean, firstly, I need to open up some more some more survivors because that's where we should be spending some of our money, right? Uh, but maybe next time we'll try Pasqualina. And maybe we'll try, let's see. We got the relics there. There's no relics here. Maybe we'll try her in the Gallo Tower. Uh, I think maybe the rune caster could really be useful in the close quarters. So we'll see. Thank you guys again for being here. Really do appreciate it. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we'll see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.